हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर बायोलॉजी क्लास लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ रिकेपिचुलेशन ऑफ द लास्ट क्लास वी सॉ द रॉ मटेरियल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड हाउ डू दे गेट दिस एंड आल्सो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट आर प्रोड्यूस ड्यूरिंग फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड द सिग्निफिकेंस और इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फोटोसिंथेसिस हियर यू सी इन द पिक्चर the raw materials for photosynthesis the green leaves they have got the chlorophyll the pigment and they take the water and minerals from the soil they take the air or the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere they get the sun's energy the chlorophyll is able to trap the sun's energy and they produce in the leaf the food that is glucose a type of carbohydrate they also produce oxygen which they release in the environment so and the significance you see that is the with the help of the air and water and with the sun's energy the plants are able to make the food that food they utilize for their survival and uh, it the food is being taken by the animals from the plants and during this process they release uh, gas that is oxygen which is also required for our survival uh, we take food time to time but we take oxygen all the time so both food and oxygen both are required for survival and that we get from the plants and the process which is helping in uh, making the food and also releasing the gas and uh, not only that the amount of carbon dioxide that is also being maintained by this process because during this process they take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen so uh, that is they are maintaining the uh, balance of these two gases so this is the photosynthesis a process food making process of the plants now let us start with that is the role of leaves in this uh, process so during photosynthesis chlorophyll containing cells of leaves in the presence of sunlight use carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbohydrates now sun is the ultimate source of energy already you have read about this and this sun's energy can be trapped by the uh, chlorophyll chlorophyll which is present in the cells of the leaves uh, it is a pigment and it is present in the cells of the leaves so during photosynthesis chlorophyll containing cells of leaves in the presence of sunlight in the presence of sunlight use carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbohydrates to synthesize carbohydrates the process can be represented as an equation see what is the process what are required carbon dioxide water in presence of sunlight with the help of chlorophyll they make the carbohydrate oxygen is also released during this process carbohydrate that is glucose a simple carbohydrate they make and this carbohydrate this uh, carbohydrate they can um, utilize for their body activities and they convert up this rest of this into starch and mainly they keep it in their leaves or store it in their leaves they can store it on other parts also like the root stem fruit seeds they store it now here a section of leaf which is shown over here these are the cells these are the cells of the uh, leaves and the dotted structures which are there these are actually chlorophyll the pigment which is present also here it is shown that is the stoma stoma actually stoma singular stomata plural that is stoma uh, stomata these are the opening of the um, tiny pores which are present on the leaves and here you see a term you get guard cells actually guard cells which are uh, present um, which are actually controlling the opening and closing of the um, stomata let us see the structure of a stomata also given over here this is the stomatal opening this is the stomatal opening it is a pore and this pore which is guarded by the guard cells two bin shaped cells what you see these are called the guard cells and this stomata uh, that is it is helping the gaseous exchange uh, during photosynthesis they take in carbon dioxide and give out uh, oxygen and during respiration also just opposite gases that means what during respiration the plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide that is also uh, done by this stomatal opening or the stomata so the function of the stomata in photosynthesis it helps in gaseous exchange and um, 
and the chlorophyll which is present in on the leaves so it helps to trap the sun's energy so you can understand that is the role of leaf in the uh, in this process it is helping in the gaseous exchange um, by the tiny pores which are present on their leaves and the chlorophyll which helps to trap the sun's energy Now here uh, I see that is the uh, right now which you have seen I have drawn it little bigger these are the cells present on the leaves and see the green dots which are uh, marked here so these are actually the chlorophyll so chlorophyll containing cells which is helping in trapping the sun's energy and this raptured part what you see this is actually the stomata stomata help in gaseous exchange that is taking off the carbon dioxide and giving out of the um, oxygen during this process so here you can uh, just write down the function of stomata number one it help in gaseous exchange during photosynthesis and respiration it helps in gaseous exchange during photosynthesis and respiration and also it help in um, during transpiration transpiration is a process already you have read about that is um, the loss of extra water from the uh, plant body uh, in the form of water vapor that is also done by the stomata so these are the functions two functions of stomata which i have told about now about stomata now another thing that is uh, the green pigments which are present mainly on the leaves but if the pigment is present on other parts of the uh, plant body that part also are able to make the food here i have drawn the diagram of a cactus plant or a desert plant desert plants see this the black structure which i have drawn here these are the spine that is their leaves are modified into spines their leaves are modified into spines so the if the leaves are modified into spine so which part of the plant is going to make the food actually this is which i have drawn the green colored structure that is their stem now stem it is leaf like stem that is it has got the green pigment and this stem is preparing their food so if the plant has the parts of the plant which has got the green pigment that can make the food here you see i have drawn a gourd cell um, uh, sorry the stomata stomata actually stoma here see the red colored part which i have drawn here this is actually the opening this is the opening and this opening see it is guarded by this two bean shaped structure which i have drawn with um, uh, green and right now i am just marking this so these are actually the guard cells two guard cells which are there which are guarding the stoma or the stoma um, stomatal opening or this pore and um, this is controlling the opening and closing of the stomata these guard cells are op controlling the opening and closing of the stomata. So here what we have read about that is the role of the leaf in the photosynthesis. We saw the stomata, uh, the guard cells and even the uh, some parts which are green in color which is able to uh, make the food. Now if the um, plants some plants have got uh, different colored leaves here you see i'm showing you some of the leaves uh, which is which has got different colors so this is uh, violet or uh, yellow in color or maybe red in color so does it mean that is they are unable to make the food because it is not green in color they do not have the green pigment actually this pigment green pigment which is covered by the other pigments they also have got the green pigments and their leaves are able to make the food now the food which is produced um, that um, glucose a simple carbohydrate now they convert this in the into starch starch is the stored form of carbohydrate starch is the stored form of carbohydrate so today up to this much and also see the description box there i have given the worksheet so you can do the worksheet thank you children